Ken Whiting of Paddle TV recently reached out to me and asked if we could do some paddling and filming together in North Carolina. Looking to do some kayak camping and then also some whitewater, I jumped at the chance to show him around. Today we're heading to the South Fork at the New River to do a quick overnighter. We had a different river in mind originally, but rain changed our plans. Come along for a cold kayak camping adventure with some friends new and old. We have world famous Kevin Champ here. And we have a guy kind of new to paddling. He's, he's wanting to kind of get into the sport of kayaking. Uh, <laughs> his name is Kevin as well. No, wait, Ken, Ken Whiting, everyone, world <laughs> famous. And uh, good to meet you, man. Yeah. Hope you yeah, had a good in trip. In person? Yeah, absolutely. Now, if you don't know Ken, shame on you. Former world champion playboater. He's the gentleman ambassador to the sport of kayaking for pretty much every skill level, every discipline. That's pretty nice. And uh, up in Canada, he's one of my heroes, and I get to paddle with him. So let's do it. All right, folks, we are here at the put in. We got everybody kind of gearing up, loading boats. And you know you're paddling with the big dogs. Look at this thing. Look at it. Look at it. How do you put that on your helmet? Oh. Do you want a mount? <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy who makes the magic happen. He's uh, hopefully I'll be learning some things. So, it. yeah, this is gonna be fun, guys. It's a little brisk. It feels better when the sun's out. Uh, this seems to be the sun goes behind the clouds and the wind starts blowing at the same time. But um, you excited, bud? Yeah, yeah, he's ready to go. Time to get dressed and get in the boat and start paddling. All, right. All set, ready to go. Cold. It's cold. Everything's in the boats as it should be buttoned down. Kevin, you feeling it? I'm feeling it. It's I'm been snowing feeling. off and on. There was snow on the ground this morning. I got the, uh, the professionals over here shooting an intro. And uh, we'll be moving on down the river in just a second. Yeah, I don't know. This is this is next level stuff. Um, we're just kind of in the background. Probably messing up his intro. Ken is paddling a PH Leo. This is his first time out in this one. Um, looks good. And uh, PH makes good stuff. And you are in the 380X made by Sea Eagle. Oh, I'm gonna be floating good. I'm not gonna get wet. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's gonna be good today. That's what I'm talking about. Well, uh, I think we're about ready to roll. Let's have a good time. All right, off we go. Yeah, it's gonna move pretty good. I don't think we're gonna have to try it all to get where we're going. There was definitely energy in the air as we began our journey. I first paddled this river almost 25 years ago in a canoe. And the river felt familiar, just like with an old friend you haven't seen in years. You can pick it right back up where you left it off. I brought along my adventure buddy, and he's not so little anymore and also joining is Kevin Champ. But Ken and his cameraman Matt are the kind of folks that seem like you've known them for years. We made quick friends, and it was clear from the very beginning oh, yeah. that this was gonna be a great weekend. Oh no! And if you've ever messed with a kayak sale, you'll know the love-hate relationship. When it's good, it's good. But most of the time, well, you just look silly. But hey, you gotta try. Originally, we had our sights set on section 10 of the French Broad. There's some beautiful camping in there and some beautiful spots to do some filming. But rains have caused the river to rise beyond what we felt comfortable putting on and trying to stay somewhat close to the area. We ended up here on the new. The weather also threw us a curveball as warming spring weather retreated. Perhaps Ken brought the cold down from Canada with him. But tonight was gonna to be really cold. Low 20s, 
and 40 mile an hour that was wind. Fun. And so I found myself in my old Prion Yukon expedition, surfing a wave next to one of the best paddlers on the planet and one of my heroes. I had my little buddy with me and a good friend. And that's what it's all about. My time with this little booger head right here is just ticking away. Every time I look at him, he seems to have grown an inch. And what's more important is the man he's becoming on the inside. And while there's more exciting and remote rivers out there to be had, an adventure could be found just about anywhere. 
and when you get a chance to spend a weekend with your son, it seems like just about anything would do. And before we knew it, we were at the River Bend campsite, which would be our home for the night. Special thanks to the Cross Paddles crew for giving me the tip on such a great campsite. It fit the bill just perfectly. And we were gonna batten down the hatches and prepare for the evening that was coming. Blustery winds and dipping temperatures into the low 20s. As we left the campfire and buried ourselves in warm quilts, I could hear the time ticking. Ooh, good morning, everyone. It is not warm outside it's in the 20s and the wind has been cranking all night 30 40 mile an hour gust regularly all night um we've been getting battered here in this camp but it was so warm in there i didn't want to get out but it's already after eight o'clock and you have to get up and get going sometimes so the quilts are so warm it's hard to get out of bed in the morning on a cold morning as you can tell there's no one else out out and about stirring uh, Kevin's over there. Pete's sleeping pretty hard still. Got my stuff. Then you got Ken. And then over there on the other side of Ken, I've got Matt, uh, the camera guy, the magic man. I got Matt in one of my setups, and he's enjoying that for the first time. Nobody's moving. And uh, like I say, I think the real feel, the wind chill right now is, is like single digits. And uh, it's nice. Oh, everything you wanted your kayak camping to be. Uh, fortunately, we are at this campsite. If you see the sun's on the other hill, um, it's not here yet, so we don't have a campsite where we get morning sun. So it's gonna be a little chilly. But um, time to get up and get moving around a little bit and whew, see what the day brings. It's a cold one. Every now and then the wind would blow just right. It would blow some cold air down between the, the quilt and me and just instantly it's like, whew! But then it would warm back up again and I was so glad I had some good gear. But um, let's get this thing going. So if you don't know, those are my UGQ quilts. Got the Bandit and the Zeppelin with the printed fabric. Oh, they're so nice. They saved my bacon last night. Uh, you gotta have some good stuff when it's cold and windy like that. But I am about to crank up breakfast, heat up some water, and make some uh, Mountain House breakfast skillet. And, uh, P5's warm. Everything's doing good. He's not going to like getting out of that thing because it is brisk out here this morning. All right, we got Pedro out and about, out of hibernation. You want the honey bun too? Not really. How does it feel? Tell me, talk to me, give me a morning interview. How was last night? Not fun. Not fun? Did you stay warm? No. Not at all? Why did you not stay warm? Uh, the underquilt came loose. Yes. And I fixed it this morning for you, right? Yep. And it would have been nice if I fixed it last night? Yep. Yeah. That, that's tough. <laughs> but you're, you're a trooper. You staying warm this morning? Something like that. Yeah. It's not warm at all. Like hard as nails. That's bare ankles showing. Bare ankles. I got two pairs uh, of socks. He had scrambled eggs and bacon. How would you rate that? A bit bland. A bit bland? Yeah. A seven. A seven. That's not bad. Coffee. And of course, the pros over here. Um, doing it right, talking about how to film the morning's events. And uh, thawing out. It's It was a brisk evening, eh, folks? Oh, it wasn't bad. <laughs> I had Matt in the quilts. Uh, Ken was in his uh, Big Agnes tent. So this is a Canadian tropical paradise, I guess. <laughs> That's why we came down here. Yeah, came down here for some warm spring weather and get on some not frozen water and i think i think the big north followed them right down so we're looking for some sun in a minute but i start packing up and then crawl into a dry suit and 
just just kind of sweat it down the river this morning, I think. So Pete just did his first TV show interview. Give me a pound, buddy. Way to do it. Uh, he did pretty good. I can't wait to see what they come up with. But uh, yeah, check that out on Paddle TV. Um, I guess the episode is going to come up sometime in the near future. It was a really fun experience watching him as a young man out there talking to the cameras, telling the world about kayaking and paddling with dad and all that good stuff. Really fun opportunity here. And uh, super appreciative that Ken reached out and wanted to do this trip. Um, it's a really cool opportunity. They are great folks. Ken is a rock star in the paddling world. If you haven't figured that out. Super guy. And uh, this has been fun. It's, it's actually probably close to 12 right now. And uh, we're about to shove off. Beautiful sunny day. We're gonna get on this river. And uh, we got 11 miles down to the truck, and that'll wrap up today's fun. And then uh, we'll stay overnight somewhere near Wilson Creek, and then we're looking to get on the Wilson tomorrow and uh, rock that out. So stay tuned, it's gonna be good. It was a brilliant spring day with blue skies and a beaming sun. It was still very cold, but on occasion you'd find a spot out of the wind and you could feel the sun warming the back of your neck. We kept joking that sometimes all you need is a little sun.
Hey Pete, Eddie out at the gravel bar. Look at that. Some rock star stuff right there. Get a bite, little snack. How far are we going? Um, Two. Four. <laughs> yeah, you got up on there. If you know us here at the River Kings, then you'll know we love stopping on gravel bars. But this one wasn't the one for us today. As soon as we got out, the wind whipped up to 30 or 40 miles an hour, and it was just too cold to stay. So we loaded back up and started making our way down river, and fortunately for us, downwind. The sky stayed blue and the sun was beaming. It was a fantastic float down a pretty little river in western North Carolina. Paddling with Ken was definitely a highlight for me and something I'll remember for years to come. But what made me the happiest and the most proud is that P5 chose to be here he chose to be here on a weekend where it wasn't going to be easy. And he didn't complain. He showed me some grit and some inner toughness. And well, 
that just makes a dad proud. water bridge and you need to get out on the river left here right now the water's got a little bit of flow but it's still a little bit low of a headroom to get under so you're gonna need to get out the normal get out place looks like it's blocked with debris so you're kind of getting out here in the flow so pay close attention here if you don't feel good about your skills go ahead and get out about a hundred yards upstream so you don't have a negative experience at the bridge Bridge, pay attention there. Next stop, 221 access, New River State Park, and the trucks. We probably got about four miles left. Four miles and some change, and this will be a wrap. So, what a beautiful day. It is quite windy, but every now and then you get a little spot like this where the wind's not blowing and it's nice. But, um, gotta love some kayak camping. Phew! Let's make some miles. Trip boys, woo! Mission accomplished. So who's taking my boat up? Um, <laughs> Kevin, he's my Kevin. porter. Yeah. I think it's just one of those, it's a boat. Who carries the boat? Wait, wait by the truck, I'll hop up there in a minute. This could go any way no, here. Don't mind, I'm the truck. <laughs> Before I go, I'll do finish her up. It's a Breon. Let me grab the end cap. Nah. That sucks. <laughs> oh, you had it. Yeah, like, you're like, man, I'm strong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back to the truck. The moment of truth. Will it crank? Let's see. Yes. Woo! Let's go get a burger. All right, we are here at the Burger King because all the local dives were kind of closed on a Sunday here. And uh, 
Matt has gone with the, what is that, the spicy chicken? Oh, the spicy chicken with chicken. some chicken fries on the side. Is chicken it? fries. Oh. oh, you got the Whopper milk. Yep, and then Ken and I went straight on with the Whoppers. Whopper. Pete is crushing some nuggets. You happy now? Yeah. Or you was being chocolate. Yep. Thank you. And now we got our shakes. The world's best waitress brought it to us, so let's dig in. All right, home for the night here at the Hampton Inn in Morganton. Um, this bed's gonna feel pretty good. I'm tired, it's just been cold, but I'm gonna get a hot shower. Maybe turn on the TV and just crash. What do you think, buddy? Yes. It's gonna be cold again tomorrow, um, but we're looking to go up and get a nice run on the Wilson Creek. Show Ken and the boys down and uh, have fun, you ready? Yeah. And Pete's gonna have his first day in the antics too. It's either gonna go great or poorly. What do you predict? Probably poorly. No, it's gonna go great. I'm not gonna have a, a back. <laughs> First time in a half slice. Woo! It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna put a seat for it though. He should be fine. Yeah, he should be fine. All right, see you guys in the morning. The weekend was halfway over, and a little kayak camping expedition was just what we needed. It was an honor to finally meet Ken in person, and even more so, to show him down the South Fork of the New River. Thanks to Kevin, the wandering electrician, for dropping what he was doing and joining us on our adventure. Shout out to my son for hanging with the big dogs and making it look easy. And a special shout out to Matt Wilder, Ken's cameraman. The amount of work he puts in to capture these adventures is quite impressive. And be sure to check out Paddle TV for their take of the fun. Now for a little rest, and then I'll show Ken and the boys Wilson Creek Gorge. See you there.